at the very beginning, there was the cows. But in June the 29th, 1897, or 1987, is born Valeria, me, Valeria Schindler born, born during the hardest housekeeping of the last millennium. And that, she's my mom. She ate the dust, and me, well, have a dust allergy. When I was one year old, my parents gave me a pencil, and I started creating the world word. I made the heart first, then the sky and the mountains, plants and butterflies, and even orange lines. Then my mom asked for a new house. Why? Because we were going to be four. Four days after my third birthday, has born my nemesis, my brother. He is the smartest and coolest and greatest boy of the world. My best creation, I'd say my family, and yes, the whole universe, were finally completed. When the other kids were playing together in the head and I created, I started studying the arts. The cubism and the hyperrealism, the Byzantine art, the Renaissance and all the other stuff. I've always been greedy, pretty shy, but talkative when felt comfortable. I loved comics and cartoons, such as Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball, and all the Disney classics. Every year, for our birthdays, our parents gave us a day in Gardaland. It was the best moment of the year. But the thing that I loved the most are cats. I have born with cats in my home, and still have four. The real love of my life was a red-haired, stupid Norwegian cat. When it died, I started signing with his name to never forget how love looks like. His name was Max. I was a smart child and girl at school, but touchy and pretty lonely. I sketched the whole time during the lesson, listening at the same time. I had a good memory. I attended an autistic high school I uh, know, useless. I thought that my drawing teacher wasn't that great, in any case. During the high school, I met my best friend, who introduced me to RPG and a lot of nerd stuff. It has been the period I passed out of my afternoons dwelling with dragons, looking for treasures, and joking about half sexuality. I even made a sexy calendar, became a stylist, at least in my head, forgetting I was the last fashion thing on the planet, and met a metal, all of a sudden. I have had a love story with Alexi Laya from Children of Bottom, but I was too much for him. It couldn't work. And then, then University in Venice, then Academy of Fine Arts, They work like the story with Alexi. By the way, the most important things I found in that period have been my love for children illustration and Photoshop. I started working digitally, discovering a nice big world. I traveled a bit in Europe, mainly cold places, and drawing everything I could. Books and city covers, flyers, logos, mural paintings, illustrations for RPG manuals, ones I used to play with, illustrations for games, contests, and even for YouTube. I don't know exactly where I'm going, but if I watch behind me, I can see the million steps I made to be the person I am. I made this video to support every person who has a passion, because if you want, you have just to make a step every day. We can learn and improve if we just dare to dream. Postscriptum. If you're nerd or fatty or shy or both the three, me I was the same. And still I am. And I can guarantee you that even if you live hiding, the real love will find even you.